Yes. Sorry, who do you see? Not, not, uh, not that first one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Critical Rocket's Saturday live stream. It's April sixteenth, I think. I think that's right. And uh, we're going to be doing some more Mechor Line drops, and we're going to be kicking off with the Marauder Five D. It was a request on the comments uh, for a viewer who doesn't get to doesn't get the time to uh, jump in with the live stuff, so he'd just like to see some of it on the archive, and he wants to see this Marauder Five D. And as usual, uh, today we have uh, Kitty on the on the comms. Hello. Alongside the bro. Hello. And uh, let's just uh, kick this off without any further ado. If we're lucky, we might get a motorbike on the microphone like we did uh, <laughs> yeah, earlier. Pri yeah, prior, prior to uh, the stream started, there was just like a, a motorbike just zoomed past and it was picked up by uh, by the bro's microphone. It just sounded like we were at fucking Monza or something for a second. It was cool, yeah. yeah. Hello, Mean Green. Hello, Hello everybody um, in chat. Peace of Blake be with you all. <laughs> No, oh, no, no, not not the Blakeists again. <laughs> uh, it says there's amazing onion man at God Elite, uh, Red Darren, and mm in the uh, viewers list. So hello. Nice. It's good to see you all. Hope everyone's had a good week. Uh, getting up for this one. Uh, again, thank you all for turning up and uh, watching me fail miserably. And uh, if you're going to join us uh, in about an hour for the group drops, may God have mercy on your souls. For you should be dropping with me. But if you want to leave a request for uh, Mech for him to pilot in the first hour. Yep, uh, I've passed over the sacred uh, bit of paper for uh, Kit to write on the back of. Well, it's, it's not it's a rocket. sacred bit of paper, it just, changes occasionally. Just right on the back. <laughs> I did all the ones on the front. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> You're looking at it like, oh, where can I fit more? Well, it's just, well, the back is completely clean. I read Darren. Hey, Red Darren. Oh, Christ, they got Polar Highlands domination. This is going to be interesting. In a mech that has no LRMs, no AMS, and no ECM. So, it's a great kickoff, then. Oh, yeah. Fantastic first map. Alright, we've got a request for a Mist Lynx and a Stalker. Ooh, nice! I haven't been in a Miss Lynx in... Ooh... Well, before you were born. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, that, that, I love that little Mac. I love that little guy. It's the, li it's the little underdogs I like in Mac and there's, there's a few chassis that fit that yes. title. The Vindicator, the Trebuchet, Miss Lynx, Adder, Kit Fox. The Ice Ferret. Another one. Even the poor little dragon. I mean, loads of people think the dragon is shit. I love that mech. I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah, lots of cool mechs. Yeah, it's just a shame that a lot of them don't really get the same level of use. Obviously, certain chassis just end up being the kind of the premium, mm, very premium chassis. To uh, steal a phrase there from uh, from Yogs. Very premium. Got to go remember the still so Hot steal other people's stuff. We don't do that. <laughs> don't ever do that. <laughs> um, is asking how the hell is the adder an underdog? Hey, it's, how often do you see adders online? Hey, compared to the other clan lights out there, it's virtually never. And when you do see them, they're really good, which is just what confuses me about why they aren't more prevalent in online matches. I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're really, really good in CW. It's a, a mode I haven't really been to for a long time because of just the late times and everything. I've even toyed in the past with the idea of maybe doing um, a stream of me just playing CW, but most of it would just be me chatting with you guys and you'd all just be watching a window of me going, oh, maybe I'm in a match. No, I'm not in a match. Uh, I just think it'd be very boring. And sadly, that's down to PGA. You know, they made a mode that they. Uh, man, I. Oh, how long they talked about how this was going to be the mode that saved the game, and <laughs> it just wasn't. We've got the fights already kicked off over there. I'm nowhere near to it. New target acquired. 
It's so weird having a Marauder with jump jets. New target acquired. Well, the Marauder 2 had jump jets. Yeah, well, that was Standard. that was the assault mech, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, this is the 5D, so this is the Davian version, I think, with uh, Lost Tech. Ah, right. So they gave it a... Uh, like everything, it's got to jump jets. <laughs> and there's a lot of LRMs flying. Just get under the shadow of the dish, because uh, the dish will give you uh, some LRM protection. I found it does actually absorb the blast quite nicely. Oh, first blood. Uh, like AT God Elite just said, don't worry, splitting the community warfare queues will save not oh. only community warfare but also Met Warrior Online. <laughs> it'll save everything. It'll be it'll be the the best move PGI's ever made. A bit of classic. Is this literally what they've said? The, uh, or what? The, they've not stated, you know, it'll save the game because they always say, oh, but the metrics are great, the metrics are great, there's nothing wrong with the population, that's why it takes like 20 minutes to get a match in Community Warfare. Uh, what they always like to say is that right. the changes will be a huge benefit, uh, players will get into matches quicker, and to be fair, after four years and the changes to the solo you know, the quick play stuff, they, they did make finding a match a lot quicker. You know, I can't fault them on that. Okay. A uh, quick hello to Grunder Dim, who's just joined us. Okay. Afternoon. Oh, nice one. Hello there. Yeah, I wonder how many people show up at the end of this stream asking when it starts. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I always feel so bad. Yeah, but unfortunately, if we stay on, uh, basically our internet will get. Wow, my aim is terrible. Yeah, basically, well, we if we stay on, say. our internet yeah. will be like your aim will be terrible. <laughs> yeah. Warning, incoming missile. New target acquired. Yeah, get squeezed down to nothing. No, I pretty much. Luckily that Vulture pilot doesn't quite understand the concept of range with his SRMs, so he's firing them and they're just exploding about 200 metres in front of me. Oh, amazing here says, hi, I finally made it to the stream. Hey! Oh, well done you! Woohoo! Glad to have you. He's saying you do good work. Oh, thanks man. Little bit of a little bit of a shuffle here. Well, at God Elite, at God Elite wants to know whether uh, Kitter is sitting close enough to see what's happening on the screen. <laughs> well, or she's seeing close enough to see what's happening on her screen, and on oh, her screen says... is Black Desert Online. No, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's as a grumpy dwarf on the uh, screen at the moment. <laughs> yes. Um, he's saying I might appreciate some of his glorious paint jobs. Yeah, I'll have a look. Taking some uh, glorious think, views here. I think the um, drops are going to be the second hour, aren't they? Yeah, group yes. drops are hour two. Yeah, I, I think it's a nice way of rounding out the stream. Maybe it's better than starting the stream with the group drops because there'll be people who turn up and they'll be like, "Oh, you know, I'd like to do some group drops." No, sorry, mate, they're over. Yeah, I, I agree. It's better to do the singles and you uh, take people's requests for max in the first hour. That's definitely worked. Uh, better that way around. Yeah, the, it just flies by as well. The the time it's of like I do like three or four drops. I was like, holy shit, it's the next hour. <laughs> yeah. Event bonus. Oh yes, there's a double XP weekend. That's right. Yeah. So uh, you better bring your max that uh, you need XP on. That'll help. Oh, there we go. Which one do you think is better, the rifleman or the Jaeger mech? Rifleman. 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 The Riffleman. Rifleman. The Riffleman. Riffleman. Like Spiderman. Uh, 
Uh, right, so what was the... Sorry, there was another Mac that was requested. Uh, Miss Links and Stalker it was. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. Right, uh, where are you, Misty? There you are. In my uh, clan blood spirit colour scheme. Uh, someone also requested a dragon, I should point out. Ah, oh, awesome. They Miss did? Miss Links and Stalker were first, though, weren't they? Yeah, Miss Links, Stalker, and then dragon. Yeah. I yeah, checking, I, I thought you'd uh, I thought you'd appreciate the blood spirit uh, color scheme there, bro, because uh, there's there's a clan that very rarely gets mentioned. Uh, yes, very rarely. I think there's probably people who like the clans who don't even know who blood spirit are. It's it's kind of surprising because there's so many clans and they just get so little time in the yeah. books. Yeah, that's true. I should also point out for all those who enjoyed the Law Warriors, obviously the uh, Nova Cats. Uh, added, um, Nova Cat Lore one. Warrior went up yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Uh, every week, obviously, there's a new Lore Warrior, and currently it's going through the clan, so I'll try and do all t all 20 in some way. Uh, some of them, sadly, you probably won't get an individual video. A bit like Mongoose and Widowmaker spring to mind, mainly because they're blink and you miss them, they're gone. Well, there was, there was a talk. We were talking about them being at the end as the fallen clans yeah i was gonna do one that was sort of covers all of them yeah uh, i think wolverine will get their own because their their story is the not named clan yeah, yeah they deserve a they're, they're quite significant i think mention yeah i might even throw the theories in about that about you know what happened to them and all that stuff yeah uh but i think uh, i've done it's diamond shark next week because I've done the Steel Vipers and the Nova Cats, and they were the uh, they were the first two of the invitees, weren't they? And it's Diamond Sharks coming afterwards. Yeah, weren't they originally? Sea Fox. Sea Fox, yeah. Yeah. Which sounds a lot cuter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't I, sound I quite have, as mean as. That. I would have loved to have yeah. seen uh, Sea Fox, their little logo. That would have been amazing. Yeah. I'm sure, there probably was one out out there somewhere. I, I took a look around in the books. I mean, I've seen some of the Fallen Clans logos, so... Yeah, I've seen Widowmaker, I've seen Mongoose, uh, but I've not seen um, anything really to do for Sea Fox. Yeah. Oh man, i got to remember that I'm actually really, really light. I have... I has maneuverability. Use can runs now? Ice cans run fast now. You can do it, little Mac. Oh god, this Big Mac's above us. Oh, I'm hearing laser impacts. Oh shit, something with like clan mediums. I oh, better watch the back. Oh no, we got, we got, we got guys watching the back now. We're okay. Ah! Go away, foul beast. Uh, did you read uh, AT God Elite's post? Sorry. Uh, uh, comment. No, sorry, if you can read those out. It says maybe Mr. Slayer can confirm, but after I did some googling, I found out that only Nova Cat mech we have in game is the Jenna 2C. Uh, as far as I know, that is correct. Yeah. Yes, as far as I know, yeah, we're pretty sure that's the only one. Uh, okay. The Supernova and the Nobody Nin are currently not in the game. Yeah. But are both timeline correct? So they could be added. Yes. Uh, Mazaskin didn't Clan Blood Spirit create the Blood Asp? Uh, I'd have to read up on that. My knowledge on Clan Mechs isn't as good as, as Innisfear. Yeah, so. that that does sound familiar though. Uh, that could be right actually. Yeah. Oh god, uh, I'm mean... being blocked by an alley. They're not mentioned very often though. Mean Green uh, is asking, what is the next chassis video after the Commando? Uh, chassis variant videos will be. Um... After the commander, I think it's spiders, maybe? It goes into 30 tons, uh, so no, it might not be the spider. God, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's Urbamex, possibly? I mean, I recently finished uh, the uh, light uh, up to the Wolfhound, with the Wolfhound being the last of the light mechs for the Inner Sphere. And then it's going to the mediums then. Oh, Mean Green's got to go. Oh, see you, Mean son's Green. has got a football game. So, uh, well, let's hope your uh, son does well. Hope his team wins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good luck with that, mate. Sure he'll do well. 
required. Yeah. Go oh, high. Score a hat trick. Even though he's the goalie. <laughs> it's a pretty fuck. Pretty fucking good goalkeepers, though, aren't they? Take, oh, yeah, yeah. Take, um, who, uh, take, penalties, take penalties and shit. It's crazy. Yeah. You can't walk on me, Atlas. I was reading up on the on the two Nova Cat Max. Uh, the Nobori Nin is just ridiculously well armed for a 50 tonner. Yeah. I mean that that thing's packing fucking uh, ballistics. It's got LRMs, SRMs. It's got like four or five ER medium lasers. <laughs> it's got a tag. It's got a Beagle probe. <laughs> it's honestly, it's got loads of stuff. It's like Nova Cats just went. Basically, I want everything. Yeah, I'll have one of all. Everything on the list. And the Supernova is basically like the King Crab, if it was uh, modified for all energy use. And it's it, and it's got jump jets. Yeah, yeah. All I remember about the Supernova is it looked like it ran very hot. Yeah, it's six ER medium. Uh, sorry, six ER large lasers. Yeah. It looks like it runs very, very hard. Just does a stupendous amount of damage very quickly. Um, I've got a question from CL Kramer. Kramer. Yeah. Hello. Uh, are you going to do a vid on the Eldar for DFG? Yes, I am currently grinding my way through the Eldar stuff. Uh, last night I've got them up to rank 5 at the moment. Yeah, I was watching him in the early part when he was getting his butt kicked. Yeah, <laughs> they just hadn't stopped it and restarted it. Has that hopefully fixed it? Target Second. There we go. There we it go. Gets back up. Uh, yeah. very sorry about that, folks. Uh, had a lag spike, knocked it off, and yeah, um, had to start it and restart it. Yeah, I mean, I noticed the other slight bit of lag prior to it dropping. Yeah. I that was it, and we were okay. Yeah, it, it does happen occasionally. Uh, just, I get, like, a spike through the uh, through the net, and it'll just knock it off briefly. So, uh, sorry to everyone who uh, who missed those bits, those ending moments of the fight. Well, that was the second victory, wasn't it? Yes, uh, I, I managed, to, uh, managed to kill the Arctic Cheetah at the end, and somehow I survived that with... Pretty much an orange red CT the whole match. Don't so know how... Everybody knows uh, whenever Critical Rocket wins, you can drink. Yeah, you can drink. Uh, That's... Obviously, I should warn uh, viewers that in the past people have died of dehydration, <laughs> waiting desperately <laughs> to drink. That's so uh, that's. You play this game at your peril. Yeah. That's... Okay. Uh, can I just say, anyone yeah. on the chat? Um, I might have missed what you said. Uh, I know the last thing people were talking about. Was Natasha Kerensky and where she originally came from? Uh, An iron I womb, see. I imagine. Yes. Uh, they well, were saying she was originally from Clan Widowmaker. No, she's from or Clan Wolf. Clan Wolf. Yeah, she's Wolf. Uh, she's just yeah. called the Widowmaker. Uh, no, she's called the Widowmaker for a reason. Um, as an experiment, uh, basically the wolves had defeated the Widowmakers and had acquired some of their uh, warriors' DNA. And some years ago, as an experiment, they decided to create crossbreed between one of Widowmaker's best bloodlines and the Krensky bloodline. And that's what she is. That's why she claims the right to use the Widowmaker symbol. Uh, so she's, um, she's a super soldier, basically. Like yeah, proper... she was like an attempt to make an even better uh, mech warrior clan pilot so captain clan erica that's uh that's what she is yeah so yes yeah, she sort of erroneously uses a version of the um symbol for clan for a dead clan yeah was a widow maker yes so uh but she is uh <laughs> born and bred as best as you can say that for people made in a tank <laughs> uh, well bred she is definitely born and bred uh from uh Clan Wolf, and she is a Krensky, which is why she has the uh, right to have that blood name. But she is also 
uh, have the right to fight for a Widowmaker blood name if they'd allowed such a thing. Yeah, that's true. Well, there you go. That's where she gets the name. Oh, well, yeah, so it's uh, very interesting, yeah. That's very interesting, that, isn't it? Oh, that's very great, that is. Oh, it's, oh, it's wonderful. I remember thinking at the time when I read it, I thought, that's very interesting. Oh, that's mate. great, that is. Yeah. It's very put, interesting. Oh, it's pretty much all about the fucking clan, so. <laughs> yeah, it's all about. It's always about a fucking clan. Fucking clans. Just... I hate the fucking clan. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cover out here, ruining my shit. What's this? There's a little vehicle. Oh, it's a little vehicle. Oh, it's a step out the bastard. Ah, you evil bastard. You evil bastard. You wrecked his sci-fi 4x4. Crunch. So. Yeah. So, if that's what they were talking about, which it probably wasn't, they probably already knew all of that, and we've just took bollocks. Oh, God. Sorry if I just... Oh, they're uh, rambling on. Everyone. Shut the fuck up. That's what they're saying. Yeah, that is what they're saying. I know that's what I'd be saying. Oh, you, you do? I mean, regularly? Like, we'll be yeah. in the middle of a conversation and you'll just go, Will you shut the fuck up and just listen to me? Anyway, yeah, so there I was. I says to Mabel, I says. That's yeah. usually what Sutty does. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, luckily we haven't had a cat meowing in the background of this one. Yes. So far. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, uh, earlier before it uh, crashed out with the, the Battlefleet Gothic stuff, yeah, I am working on working on getting the Imperial Navy and the Eldar up to rank 8 so I can do a video showing the uh, battleships and, and all the, you know, higher tier vessels. And I will also be getting a Chaos one up at some point, so at the moment I'm just viciously grinding through each race so I can get videos of each one. Sorted. Uh, spoilers. Uh, Natasha died in a Daishi yep. from a headshot. Yep, from another clanner. Uh, e uh, or Jay PPC Falcon, wasn't it? or Gauss to the head. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Um, um, is asking whatever happened after the truce of Tuki had ended. No one ever talks about it. Uh, we all went out. We had curry, uh, a few oh, drinks. Oh, it was, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, oh, he means in law. Pr pretty much. The story is that the clans are then forced into a ceasefire for like, 30, like years. 30 years and all the clans do then is uh, fight each other uh, around that area and they raid uh, bits of the inner sphere when they can so they can still get some combat experience for their troops. And I think the most significant event kicks off is it like the um, Coventry, a battle for yeah. Coventry where Jade Falcon try and uh, kick it all off again and they fail kind of miserably. Yeah, after losing uh, and all that honour rubbish that they keep going on about, they then try to basically trick their way out of having to stick to the troops. Yeah. How very clan of them. Uh, the thing, probably before that, the other significant event is Operation Bird Dog and Bulldog, which is the pretty much the destruction of Smoke Jaguar as a clan. Yeah, they kind of deserve it though, because they're homicidal well but yeah the they're, they're all the sabu the homicidal genocidal yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they're, quick hello not the nicest Corin. oh hi zandal hey zandal he's asking hello mate how are you today pretty good pretty good yourself no oh, yeah i'm getting my stalker's fat ass out of it because it's getting shot up it's getting lit up Yeah, so basically the clans kind of start turning on each other, don't they? Because they've got yeah. no one else to fight, as it were. Yeah, they take all that territory and then it's like, well, we can't fight the Inner Sphere as per our agreement, so... Yeah, let's let's start killing each other again. Yeah, there's a lot of blaming about who did what and why they're in this situation in the first place. Yeah, it's, it's not pretty. AT Godly is laughing at the fact that you said that's pretty good. Uh, you said you were feeling pretty good um, yeah. as you got your face pummeled with auto cannon fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm I'm just I'm just feeling myself, you know. Just uh, here it is. Well, oh yeah, well. That as well. Dirty. You have to, you have no, to when you're you piloting. getting shot in the face. Too busy feeling yourself. No, oh, I was trying to play it one-handed. It wasn't working. Oh, dirty. Ow, 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 ow. 
Fuck. Ow. They're all round there, guys. <laughs> Shit. Ow. Fuck. I got LRM from the other side now. Ah, oh, fucking stalker in the water. Just keep learning. Stalker in the water. Stalker in the water. I think I've still got one LRM10. Yeah, Zandal also mentions the uh, Fedcom Civil War as well, obviously. Yeah. China and Davian uh, break their. Uh, it's, it's break kind of, up again. It's kind of a wet fart, though, really, as the Civil War goes. It's not like a full on. Like, yeah. proper fight is sort of like an, uh... It felt a little bit like the writers didn't really know where to go after they deci decided that Comstar would rush out and save everybody from the evil, naughty clans. Yeah. And, oh, well, we'll have this 30 year civil war, that'll give us time to do something, but felt like they didn't really know where they were going after that. Well, once you, uh, once you introduce the ultimate evil, and, you know... No, it turns out to be a bit of a wet fart. Yeah, it, it, there's not much to it after that. Yeah. I was like, that's it? Oh, the, the clan! And, and as then... we know, obviously, then Fassa basically wasn't even running the show after a while, so... Yeah. And then everything really does go kind of crazy. No. <laughs> uh, oh, Christ. Well, ammo explosion's probably the best way to go, considering I had no weapons left anyway. Yeah. Alright, uh, well... The best uh, you could have hoped for. Yeah, just ended up, uh, sadly, in a, in a bad spot there. Uh, so it's Dragon. Enter the Dragon. So, where is it? Dragon, 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 Dragon. Because it's not in alphabetical order, for some reason. Jägermack, there it is, Dragon. Uh, flashy message. Who's this? Uh, sorry folks, just uh, letting people know by completely misspelling streaming. There we go. Uh, right, dragon. We've got Sooty over here, trying to take over the comms from Kitter. So he's going to be the new moderator. She thinks she can run this better, she's already scoping out the keyboard, stiffing the screen. That cat thinks she can run everything better. She, she does, she yeah. This is, an admin the house. this is an administration nightmare, you fucking idiots. Hey, that's it, I'm taking over! <laughs> <laughs> and she's trying to find the key, uh, the cheeseburger button on the uh, keyboard. <laughs> yeah, oh. cheeseburgers, K-Fangs. That poor cat, when will she learn? Although now I could really go for a cheeseburger. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have a cheeseburger today. I don't know. I don't know what are we having. What's for tea today? <laughs> do, do. Um, maybe shadows uh, and lies. Shadows and lies. That's what you're having pulled for tea. Pulled pork, maybe. Pulled pork. Yeah, it could be pulled pork. Oh, so it could be pulled oh, pork. shadows and lies. Or maybe a curry. Maybe a curry. Curry sounds better. Oh, we could have fish. <laughs> Not sounding quite as cool as the other choices. Or we could just have a cheeseburger. <laughs> hey, thanks. Is there any way that we can get Not Simon's friend to pay for food? I don't think so. Well, we could just blackmail him. Just so you don't get any uh, cups of tea until you order some uh, pizzas. It's okay, you can drink coffee. Well, you get so t coffee either. <laughs> oh, it's my coconut monkey! I keep forgetting I leave this little guy in the dragon. Coconut yes. monkey away! Coconut, yes, coconut, monkey. coconut monkey! His little head wobbles around. Coconut monkey, he will save you when you're down. Sure. He does look like he's talking. <laughs> Your Kitta is keeping up on all of the, uh... Oh, Kitta is... She's always up on the chat. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm sure everyone in chat will agree that she's never just sort of completely forgotten that there was a chat thing going on, and then, like, people in chat are going, Kitta, listen to me! <laughs> Slow down here, we've got some traffic. 
Oh, and again. Well, they were talking about how uh, Kerensky was getting kicked in the face or something. Yeah, that, that'll that, happen. That probably didn't kill her. It was probably uh, she jet. was burnt to death by the jump jets. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not really the the best way to go, is it? As a as a heroic character, is horribly burnt to death by jump jet exhaust flames. Yeah, it's one of those situations where in a written uh, book, the jump jets can suddenly do things that they don't do in the actual uh, game. Yeah, I can't imagine the GM's dis discussion with that with a player goes, yeah, and then I want to burn him with my jump jets. You want to what? <laughs> yeah, I just want to angle my mech's jump jet so I so you burn want your him. jump jets to now suddenly be flamers. Uh, you want extra weapons. Yeah, yeah I, I, I have to burn his fucking yeah. face off. Yeah. Uh, burn, him. burn him. Burn him. We didn't burn him. Put him to the torch. But, uh, yeah. Make sure that you roast him alive. Make an example of him. Oh, no, is this, look at this fucking jump jet and Timberwolf hopping up there. Look, yeah. Pastry King. Ah. We can't get him. He has all the eclairs. Nope, someone thinks life. Kitta is a bit of a queen here. Oh. The shade yeah, of it all. I'm the queen of the rocket men or something. <laughs> queen of the rocket men. Queen of the rocket There's like this cult status building up around now, isn't there? Yeah, it's a bit mental. New target acquired. This is turning into a very weird match. New target acquired. Oh god. New target acquired. It can't be an even fight, that's not fair. I always like to have numerical superiority. Nope, that's not gonna work. At God Elite, the whole flaming uh flaming alive thing sounds like a Blakiest thing to do. You know what? Mm. I totally agree. As mm. uh, I'm a supporter of Comstar, not uh word of Blake, I would totally agree that sounds like the kind of thing those crazy psychos would have done. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know if you uh, spotted Zandel's comment. Uh, what was that? But he was asking if the presenter uh, ever arrives today. Uh, uh he no, he's he's off world today. He's... I got thinking last week and wondered if the the trained monkeys that were plotting galactic domination were easier to handle than Critical Rocket. The trained monkeys that weren't plotting uh, okay. world domination. The trained monkeys that were just plotting to eat a banana. Well, the the other trained monkey they they were the original uh, simulator pilots, but. Um... Yeah, yeah, they turned out to be too good, and we wanted a more realistic yeah, you, approach. You had to well, get, I don't know, because you know, Presenter metrics. Alden, uh, he's in charge of the operation. I don't know if it's an operation he personally put together. I know that uh, Oct is a big fan of the uh, simulations and the information that comes through, but uh, you know, there's lots yeah. of uh, high-ranked people in uh, Comstar that were interested. I personally, uh, you know, I, I'm a strong supporter of Comstar and believe a lot in what they do, but as I'm not a com agent, uh, Comstar, uh, you know, I I have no, I'm not privy to that information, unfortunately. Yeah, don't worry, the, the, the newsletter that, that they put out isn't all that informative either, to be honest. Yeah, but uh, the little uh, bit at the back last week's uh, recipe was pretty good. Yeah, the the Comstar cookies were nice. Yeah, and obviously you know. Uh, you got Comstar cookies? I didn't. Well, uh, well, do well. you do you subscribe to the newsletter? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's exactly. true. I don't. Exactly. But yes, that was a pretty good recipe. They were pretty good, and obviously, um, as it said, obviously uh, Deirdre did have uh, a baby girl. So uh, that was. Aww. Yeah, that yeah, was, well, that that was, was pretty main, nice. That was the main. Ah. Uh, Thing, I'll but, have to give uh, her a little uh, baby uniform. I think I think they're already working on it. So. I'm just surprised they don't have them already. So wait a minute, that Hunchback 2C could have come out and helped me against that King Crab any time, but he decided to hide behind a carapace until I was dead to help him. Rizwind, 
You're going into business for yourself there, buddy. <laughs> uh, hello to Boss Shrew. Oh, yeah. Uh, just... He said, your mum goes to Tesco in her slippers. Ah. Oh. Your mum goes to Chippy in her, sli in, in her slippers, isn't it? Yeah, That's but... the one I've always heard. Yeah, Chippy, but yeah. Tesco's just as bad. Just as bad? Yeah, yeah. The fucking okay. Tesco. Respect, that's that's further. No, that is further. That is further. So yeah, maybe that is worse actually. But hi anyway, mate. Uh, that guy wasn't careful. It was a close match though. I think that was literally 11-11 uh, at the end there. I'd see the end of that one because it was quite a good fight. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, complain about that one. Uh. And I think it was a good show of the dragons. I mean, what? 309 yeah. damage done with the base the base setup of that thing? Not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, so how long have we got of the first hour, sorry? Uh, we've got about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. So... Still got time for a few got, of I've got uh, three more mechs on this list. We're kicking off all the way into the mediums now. Probably we'll get you to the end of the hour, won't it, those three? Yeah, we're just going to go into the medium category now. We're going to hit something from the late 2700s. It's the Wolverine with their hit, Wub 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 Wub. Wub 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 Wub. Yeah, well, back in the day, the uh, Wolverine was just a Wub mech, is that everything was pulses. What you got in your Wolverine? P pulse lasers. <laughs> what version of the Wolverine? Doesn't matter. Pulse lasers. <laughs> you got pulse lasers on that Wolverine? Yep. Hey, does the Wolverine normally come with pulse lasers? Because mine does. <laughs> when I take the Wolverine, I always take the Whoop. Wow, domination is popular. I've not been voting on this uh, just because I, I'm letting the sort of letting everyone else pick. And yeah, domination seems to be very popular with most of the uh, pugs today. Quite a few of the old domination matches. So Wolverine, yeah, I, uh, I haven't run this mech for a little while. It was always the one that I defaulted to when we were filming for Tor, because it was always like everyone else was picking like Battlemasters and Atlas and Stalkers and shit. I was going, well, I don't think there'd be that many Assault Lancers wandering around. Yeah, so, that's always the problem. So I'd it? always take the Wolverine, just because it was sort of a nice mid-range mech. So, so let's see if we can remember any, any names here, anyone that I've seen before. All I'm seeing is there's some misguided people in the chat who don't seem to quite understand what Comstar stood for and what they were doing to help humanity. Oh, right. And yeah. all I can say to those people is, you know, I feel bad for you that you've got this understanding that this, there was anything anything going on other than them trying to protect humanity. And, of course, keep up the uh, operations of your local HPG. So that you can stay in contact with friends and family in other worlds. So, uh, now, I, I, what else can you ask? For so you can get them? space Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And uh, without that. See you, Zandal. Oh, Zandal heading off. Oh, okay. See you, mate. Yeah, he's gonna get back to rewatching Babylon Five. Ah, not a bad choice. Excellent, not a bad choice. See you, Zandal. Thanks for uh, popping in. Right. Uh, Grunter Dim says he kind of likes the Church of the New Whatever Combine with Big Brother. He says it's cool that they were responsible for the truce, but they were always psycho over the HPG tech. Yeah, uh, it was their power thing, it was wasn't it? Of humanity. And AT God Elite says it's not the HPG thing that bothers me, it's the secret agenda to cause warfare and suffering. <laughs> to fracture IS so they can then unite it with the use of their com guards. For the good of all, you understand. You see what I mean about people being misinformed about uh, Comstar. Well, I do, I do have to kind of agree because there no, is that. Don't. Well, there is no, that. No, you really don't. Oh, really? You to. Oh. No, you don't. No. No. It, it's so just, anyway, well, let's there, move on. Um, but there is, there is that <laughs> no, no, army. No, let's move on. Oh. Let's move on. Okay. AT Godly also says, The moment I see a funky looking lanky bastard in white robes and pointy hat headed to me with a flyer, offering helpful information, I'ma shank them, I swear on the <laughs> <laughs> I'ma shank them. That's fucking awesome. 
Yeah, he swears down on his mum. No word of a lie. No word that's of very, a lie. That's very Liverpool to be in that, swear down. <laughs> hey, swear down, I'm gonna fucking stab him up, big time. New target um, My favourite in school was always like, I, I decked him. What'd you do, I decked him? Gonna deck him, what? What, are you gonna like, you're, you're gonna go in the garden, you're gonna like, you're gonna you know, black and deck him. <laughs> you lay down some nice patio, is that what you're doing? Wood decking? I think the Wolverine sadly has some kind of quirk based on its Ultra AC5 that it like always jams after the second shot. New target acquired. Oh, there's there's a fucking cat hopping around again, racking shit. Yeah, I like my nerves. Look, you're playing Black Desert. It's not that scary. It is when everything's calm and peaceful, and then I get a cat that lunges at my chair and knocks Look, it. Everything can't be calm and peaceful whilst there's people writing filth like that <laughs> in the chat, okay. suggesting that Comstar have been plotting the downfall of the Inner Sphere. This is. Oh. Well, Boss you know. Boss is saying that he got a thousand in a locust. Fear the locust. Nice. Good for him. Nice. Locust is a vicious, vicious killer. And one of my favourite, all-time favourite mechs. It's just so, so cool. Good. Very cool. Oh, we are... Underrated, underutilised. Oh, that guy was called Jetfire. I mean, he's dead now, but he was called Jetfire. Oh. Uh, we're, we're getting They'll remember him. horribly, horribly flanked. New Shit. Target. It wasn't called Starscream, so, you know. Yeah, but you really like Jetfire. Starscream. He was like one of your favouritist uh, characters, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, but Starscream's better. No, st yeah, well, yeah, Starscream is better. This this is feeling like a 12 nil roll at the moment. Oh dear. Yeah, completely outflanked, outpositioned. Like this fucking Ultra AC5. Every time I fire the goddamn thing, it jams up. I'm not even rapidly clicking, I'm just pressing the button. Uh, AT God Elite is asking the bro, is the Locust your favourite mech? Because it is the mech you would take with you into the far country, if you know what I mean. I guess, yeah, I guess that's the, uh, the, the Locust might be the mech I take to my grave, maybe, I don't know. Or whatever. Uh, yeah. It's... It's sort of the mech everyone always ignores or thinks is a bit of a joke. At least there was a bit of consistency there at the end. I got killed by a king crab again, but I killed two. Nice. I think I... Did I get the team's only two kills? That's what I want to know. Because that would be hilarious if a stock wolverine managed to kill. Uh, <laughs> managed to kill two of their mechs. Oh my god, it was. I was the only person who got <laughs> killed. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, man. I didn't get the top, I didn't get the highest match score, but fuck. Bloody hell. That's... That's, that's a happening. <sighs> As Gorilla Monsoon would say, it's a happening. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah, Mola. Time to take the Bulgarian flag, Mola. What's that? What do you say, Gitter? On Black Desert, there's a load of cats spazzing out. <laughs> They'll just go. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Some kind of that, do you? We've got that here. Creepy, <laughs> creepy Portal 2 style remix of something. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. He's right. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just uh, reading uh, at God Elite. Yeah. Far oh, yeah. Country was the novel with the. Bird aliens. Oh no! No, I yeah. completely forgotten about that book. <clears throat> the apocryphal sit with those weird chicken fucking things. Aliens. Yeah. Yes, exactly. In fact, that's exactly what he's described them as: chicken aliens. We mistake locust mechs for their gods. Yeah. Who the and, fuck? Uh, were, wait, what were the stranded Davians? Yeah. What were they on when they when they wrote that? 
They thought, wait, yeah, they we've... finally decided to bring in intelligent aliens because they'd never brought in aliens, alien creatures and strange alien. I mean, alien fauna and and, and stuff. Yeah, and, but and stuff is was common in uh, write-ups for the different worlds, uh, but not any kind of intelligence. And they finally did it, and they were picking bird yeah. spears. Just, yeah, don't look, look it up and then realize that it should never have been written. There's yeah. images of it on Sana, and yeah. Unfortunately, it... Fasa still controlled them when they did that, so we can't even use that excuse, I don't think. Uh, they don't deserve to, to be given any kind of uh, leeway <laughs> on that one. It was just a bad idea. Uh, yeah. To fucking, like, do that with the alien things. I don't think alien life really works in Battletech anyway, because it's just supposed to be a more... Um, semi-realistic world, isn't it, with tanks that are walking tanks? I mean, that's it really, isn't it? Yeah. World War Two style, like, influence combat yeah, and all that. Yeah, it's a kind of World War One almost, as well, with the almost trench warfare, that uh, it's become almost stalemate, but yeah. the war goes on. Everybody still fucking, like, hates each other, there's all these old en enmities, and... Yeah, no, it's all, it's almost sort of General Merchant being shown the one-to-one -one scale. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, this is what we've taken. Ah, uh, yes, yes, obviously... darling. And, and what's, what scale is this in, uh, darling? One-to-one, uh, -one, sir. Oh, very good, very good. It's good to see that our Tommies in the trenches can make the, uh... <laughs> Yeah, the literally, progress. they've cut up. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> ow, 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 they've ow, cut ow. up some uh, grass and have brought it in and put it down because that's literally what yeah, they've that is, that is the territory they have taken from the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> I love that sketch, yeah. Yeah. But that, that's. Uh... And, uh, I, yeah, I guess, in a way. Um... Battletech has a little bit of that going on with the different houses. Oh, we took that planet. Oh, they took this planet off us. Oh, they've taken the planet we took off them back. You know, nothing really changes much. Yeah, it's it's always tit for tat. No one ever gains, no one ever loses. Oh, well, yeah. ex except for Lau. Lau always just seemed to get kicked around the industry like a fucking uh, empty bucket or something. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's yeah. uh, fuck. Yeah, who, who, oh, wait, we just introduced this new group, who are we going to have them pick on? Lau, of course. Yeah, you fucking Capellans, you bitches. Yeah, what, what are you going to do about it? Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. Oh, but it's okay, because the Lau, Lau faction are all, like, assholes, and the, they've got this horrible society. It's like, yeah, because Davian are really, really nice, aren't they, by kicking the shit out of them. Yeah. Gold. Target acquired. It's right, I've just locked on to a Timberwolf that really, really needs to die. He's brought a Timberwolf that's got two LRM-20s and Artemis. That's it. That's his entire build. Oh, right. New target acquired. Eight. Why? Why? Why would you turn probably the most versatile and effective heavy mech ever made in Battletech into a two LRM twenty missile boat? I mean, it already comes with two LRM twenties or fifteens. I mean, it's already it's already got that with extras. It's, it's going to be great. He's dead now. I killed him. He could do nothing in the background as he screamed as I just laid missiles into his ass. New target acquired. Uh, I've no idea. Make some of the builds they make, I guess. They tried it out once. It seemed to get them a couple of kills on a particular map. Because they just happened to have. Um, and for that reason, lucky. it's great. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Grunderdim. Apparently his stream keeps dying. Ah, oh, no, that's... that is a bit shit. Um, sorry about that, man.
Ow! Fuck! Ah, oh, there was an archer next to me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the only problem with, um... Uh, hmm. I refreshing, to... you lose obviously the uh, chat as well. Yeah. yeah, that's gotta be the worst bit. It doesn't just refresh the video. Yes, it, it takes the chat away as well. Do I have an XL engine? Oh, fucking hell, I do have an XL engine in this. Why do I have an XL engine in this? It's the worst mech to put an XL engine in. Does it come standard with that? A Mola 1R? I don't think it does. Maybe it does. It does come with VR lasers, yeah, it probably does actually. Oh well. Thought I was doing uh, alright. Well, been... Probably be the last drop before turn of the hour. Right, okay, well that's that's all the request ones then. Uh, after this griffin. Yeah, so that that should be it. Uh, and then we'll start doing group drops. Yeah, yeah. group drops for the hour. Yeah, so uh, after this drop, it's uh, group drops. And uh, then the madness really kicks off, right? Mm, <laughs> right? The macho <laughs> madness. The macho madness, yeah. But um, I, I don't know if chat would be interested if next Saturday in seeing a Battlefleet Gothic stream. I don't really know if people would be interested in that or not, because I think the game is out next week, so... I'll be sort of the full release. I could just do a bunch of uh, games of me playing against the AI and so maybe some of the story missions and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe it's just a stream of nothing else where people can see the different factions playing and their, uh, their different ships and that. Uh, I'm still waiting for Eternal Crusade to release a Eldar update because I'll definitely do a stream of that showing them running around. Although, speaking of Eternal Crusade, they have made several major updates to the game, adding new stuff. The most recent one added the ability to do what's called war parties, which is basically groups. And uh, chaos chain axes and plasma pistols, and um, they've upped the number of players on the server. So I think I think one of the modes has like 60 aside at the moment. It's pretty crazy. Well, we'll have to see what uh, people think about that then. What they want to see next week. Uh, I, I don't mind obviously doing another uh, MechWarrior one. Like depending on how Community Warfare goes, if Community Warfare is actually, you know, workable and isn't shit, I'll I'll do a CW drop uh, for the stream so we can at least see the new map and maybe maybe the new scout mode and stuff like that. Yeah. Since there's a four on four scout mode being added. And I, I mean, obviously, the the so the core gameplay of CW isn't going to change. Just the map and some of the functions of things like, obviously, the queue system with the public and the and the groups being split and uh, planets having a bit more information, I guess, about who owns them. So I've been told in game by uh, Mac uh, by McCleary that he watches me on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> Someone else. Uh, uh, there's actually three people who are telling everybody uh, to uh, check out the channel, so that's very nice of them. Yeah, that's pretty now, good. Uh, hello to a wild card who is asking, will your match on Frozen go better this time? <laughs> oh well, let's let's see. It's been it's been a day for King Crab so far because here's another one to ruin my fucking day. I do like this griffin though, because the speed that I've got with this thing is amazing. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk on the chat about the novels, so I'm asking you both which Battletech books have you read? You know what, in the novels we didn't really... Didn't really read very many of the novels, to be honest. Yeah, they were Mainly to the actual, the actual books for the game, for Battletech, we got our information from them. I guess it. I guess it was mostly the background stuff that we liked more uh, than the the novelizations. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I was aware of uh, the basic plots of most of the novels, though. I mean, a lot of the time, obviously, that would be... Um, you'd get the gist of what happened in the uh, in the books, which would cover some of the actual battles or situations. Such took place, so. anyway. Although, I guess at the end, it did start to feel like if you weren't keeping up with the novels, you weren't necessarily always aware of what was what was going on in the uh, Battletech universe. Yeah, that that was a problem. Uh, Bloodlines, I think, was one of the ones we read. Is that right? Uh, I I think it, it I think it's the one with uh, the descendant of Stefan Amaris. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's that one because uh, it has the steel. It has a clan, female clan pilot, and she's um, been kicked out of Steel Viper. And uh, yeah, they're like pretending to be a mercenary company to get behind uh, this new Amaris's uh, group, so they can infiltrate it and then basically destroy it from inside. New target acquired. Yeah. Amaris makes his own Knights of the Inner Sphere to cause trouble across the borders. How his plan was going to work, it was like, oh, if I have these guys who I, uh, these pirates and mercenaries who I pay to pretend to be this group, and then have them like cause a bit of shit, that oh, that will cause another succession war. No, it won't. It's just, it's just typical, you know, Inner Sphere bullshit politics and that. Oh fuck me. Ow. You all right, dear? Uh, got hit by a s this fucking <laughs> sneaky Jaeger Max. Just there I was on a trap out of it. Oh my god! Fuck! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Someone killed it for me. If nothing else, I was a I was a good bait for that guy to uh, just pop around the corner and shoot him. Uh, good morning to Clueless. Hello. Hello, Hello Clueless. Uh. Grunderdim is saying, what's your favourite moment in BT? Uh, mine is, uh, I, I really like the the sort of imagined expression of the Chancellor of House Lau <laughs> when they're at the, uh, when they're at uh, Hansa Davian's wedding and he cuts the cake and says that I give you the Capellan Confederation and he must be like, the fuck? <laughs> and then that's it, and Lau gets invaded. I think that's, that's pretty funny. Yeah, you can imagine this uh, old man Lau suddenly okay. turning around and sprinting out of this massive hall. <laughs> it's just this, like, yeah, they're all there with all their finery and stuff mm -hmm. talking bollocks. I'll get you, Davian! Yeah. You'll go yeah, pay for this, I'll Davian! Get for that. <laughs> I'll get you for that, you <laughs> bastard. Yeah, charging out to try to uh, tell his people. They're gonna knock down my shitty walls. <laughs> Yeah, trying try to get to uh, his nearest uh, Comstar operated HPG generator, where obviously he was able to get instant communication anywhere in the Inner Sphere. Only for $9.99 a month. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I got large pulsed. Uh, yeah, just the sound effect to go with it was great. Uh, so, Don't yeah. shoot the fucking Jenner's legs, blow his face off. There we go. Come on, Arcor. I'm with you, Arcor. With your five large laser battle master. Yeah. Target. Uh, oh, there's one left. We may as well see the end of this. It's that Black Knight. It was three large pulses. I'm starting to see a trend here. Wow, battle master just got goused in the back by an ally. That was nice. Um but. is suggesting that Comstar did almost completely screw the Grey Death Legion by posing them as them and obliterating a city. Yes. I've got to say, I'm getting a little tired of the, uh, just, uh, just making shit up now to try to belittle Comstar. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, like, run off to Alder and I and, like, tell him all this, like, you know, like, being like a little, I don't like, have to. Eh, I've told eh, you before, they said he, that about, eh. he gets all of this copied, sent to him, this is nothing to do with me, I'm just saying that, Wait a I've, minute. Is that I've why? Is that why my 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 connection is so slow? Because it's constantly streaming all the stuff to him that that I do on my on my system. That I couldn't say. I don't know. Oh. I literally have no idea. I'm just telling you that you know I'm getting a little tired of people making shit up about comp stuff. Uh. Okay. We are. Ready for the group drops. So what we're gonna do? Uh, yeah, the idea of uh, 
It's crazy. The leader of House Lau suddenly sprinting out of the, <laughs> the dining hall, knocking over, uh, g you know, little girls in their, uh, their, their little sort of party dresses. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> pushing, pushing the wedding band over. We're trying to do their, their, their medley of 80s hits. And, uh, <laughs> Don't <screaming>. you forget <laughs> the clown! <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would have been priceless. Someone get me to the sci-fi fax machine. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, hello to Muffled Orc. Hello, Muffled Orc. Hello, Muffled. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh... The group drops are live. We will be sending out invites to anyone who wishes to join me. Just, uh... Uh, send me a message in-game. Uh, friend me if you haven't already on the name Critical Rocket. And, uh, shoot me an invite. Uh, I've already sent invites out to Clueless, Lord of Bones, uh, War Prince, and uh, let's see, I've also sent out invites to Wendigo One and Terps Mark. Uh, but anyone else who wants to join us is more than welcome to. Uh, for the uh, uh, groupie group here. Low Bones has just crawled out of bed. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> well, he says he woke up late, but if he wants to get in on, on some uh, action live with uh, Critical Rocket, you could say he woke up at just the right time. It's just the right moment. Just the right moment. Uh, oh, Muffle right. Dork is asking if you've played Dark Souls 3. I haven't played Dark Souls 3. I am currently playing Dark Souls 1 and I'm enjoying it immensely. It's um, It's been really fun. And you've already bought two, haven't you? Yeah, I've got two ready to play on the PS4 as soon as I finish number one. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get number three when I finish that. Uh, it, it was a series that I didn't really play for a long time because I, I'd only heard stuff about how difficult it was and uh, it, it's it's a very unforgiving game but then I, I'd also seen a, a bunch of other stuff about it and I thought you know what it's the game's coming out all right fuck it let's try it and yeah I don't regret it I mean, uh, boss true is saying that the that the dream has just stopped for him and it won't play as far uh, as I can see, the stream is still uh, running fine. The stream fine. is okay for me. Uh, I've uh, still got a green lamp for, for me. And hopefully, uh, Boshru can refresh in. I mean, I'm looking at Kitty's screen and it seems to be okay. Um, I assume yours is still running, bro. Is that, is that fine? Uh, yes, I'm still here and I'm still holding you back, bro. Oh, yeah, well, definitely. Okay, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, he's holding you back, bro. Apparently. Apparently it worked on a sixth try. All right, oh, weird. It's just what's going on today? Maybe there's some issues with it today. Yeah. I'll yeah, have to, I'll have to I... give it a name. I'll have to uh, name it like the the shitter stream. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the technically unreliable stream. So th this is this is one of the major downsides, unfortunately, being in um in the area of a rain. Apparently there's a lot of traffic and yeah, streaming does not go so well uh, all the time. He's asking how far have you gotten in Dark Souls 1? I just killed uh, Quilag. Um, I was, I've just found her sister uh, and I'm going to join the Covenant with her so I can feed her like 30 humanity so I can save uh, Night Solaire. And I'm playing a knight, and I'm wielding a uh, was it one of those black knight swords that I got as a drop from the very first one I killed. But I'm I'm starting to wonder like whether I I should be wielding that sword because it seems very slow, and whether I should be going for a more uh, speedy build that does less damage but allows me way more maneuverability. Maybe lighter armor as well. I don't know. It seems like speedier characters have a much easier time in that game than uh, big like slow moving characters. Like Kitty will tell you that uh, she watched me fight the Hydra boss, and there's no way I could have killed it with that big sword I was wielding. It was too slow to attack okay. them. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. King crabs are popular today. I've noticed on this stream. Just 
just uh, very, uh, very numerous. Nearly every drop, I think, there's been a king crab either on my team or uh, against. Okay, where is the? Wow, that's a cicada of like four ER lasers. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That moment where it's not quite Battletech. And you're just saying, Hawken! Yeah, I've taken the Highlander 2C for this first drop. There's only three of us. Uh, but I'm sure more people will, um, will have sent invites by then. A couple of the other guys will join as well. So, yeah, um, looking forward to that. Uh, Boss Shrew says, tell him Shrew says hi for me. Hello, Shrew. <laughs> I think I already did, but... I mean, I, I mean, obviously it's it's one-to-one, -one. I and mean, she sat right next to me, so any message that you want to pass on, you know, I can immediately uh, respond. Don't worry no, about I'm that. I'm a bit slow, and I don't always read everything. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not paid enough in chocolate to... Uh, to read it all. Is my love not enough for you? Nah. Nah, clearly not. <laughs> now that die wolf is dead. I don't know what he's just shooting a corpse at guy in the Orion. Is that who is that? No, it's Target acquired. So it wasn't gonna be clueless or Lord of Bones. I mean those guys Those guys know what they're doing, so new target acquired. King crabs and crab. Whoa, that was a smoke effect there. Just obscured my vision. New target acquired. Target acquired. Uh, give that delta crab a bit of uh, lurmage. Uh, Ms. is asking, is there any reason why CLRMs act differently than LRMs in terms of initial flight path? Uh, I think that's just PGI's flair, to be honest. I think they just wanted to make the weapons feel a bit different uh, for the clanners compared to the standard Innisphere stuff. And uh, I don't think that in-game, obviously, there's any real difference in the way they work outside of the fact that on tabletop, obviously, Clan LRMs have no uh, minimum rage, uh, range, not rage. The certain rage. amount of rage, rage involved is definitely a key element. <laughs> no, King Crab, you blocked my shot. Target acquired. Ah. Damnable ECM blocking my shot. Ow! Fuck. I'm gonna lose the side torso. Hello, Devlin. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Hey, Devlin. Yeah, definitely, they're beating us on caps here. I'm so glad PGI decided to change their minds about the whole um, if they've still got points captured thing, you still have to cap them out and they come in on points. It, it just, it never made sense. It's just like, oh, we've taken the field. We've killed all the enemy or routed them. But, um, yeah, we might lose now because they held those points a tiny bit longer. Never made sense. I just don't understand the logic in that. I know it, it supports the complaints that the game is just um, deathmatch, but that's just the way the game modes have been set out. There's no real objectives. I would love some objective gameplay in this. I'd love to see uh, modes where your team 
have to escort something from point A to B, they have to defend a location from attacking enemies. I'd love to see respawns added to public mode. I think people would happily play longer games if they had the option to be able to stay there and fight much longer uh, and get you know more XP for their mechs. For that, I think people would probably enjoy that a lot more. Even maybe if you just dropped it down to like two respawns each. I don't know. It'll still be fun. Right. So ah, we've got Terps Mark in. We've got uh, War Prince, Lord of Bones. Uh, didn't get Wendigo. Uh, oh, AT God, sorry, there we go, there's an invite for you. Uh, I did invite Wendigo, I guess it must have timed out. Invites out to you guys. Right, uh, so is there anyone else that we're getting in to this group. I've invited Wendigo. If anyone else wants him, uh, just shoot me a message in-game if you want to join. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone else from the uh, regulars. Maybe uh, maybe Ravagon, but yeah. Uh, if you want in, uh, just invite. Right. Uh, you know, I was saying it earlier, the adder is always left behind. But I'm going to take the adder for this drop. Uh, can't seem to get Wendigo in. Oh, I'll just send him a message. I'll send another invite in case it doesn't work, but obviously if... Uh, if nothing happens, uh, we'll just uh, obviously get the drop going. Reet, uh, well, we are good to go. Nice and quick there for the first drop. Um, I'm actually going to pick a map for the song, I'm going to pick Crimson, because I do like that map. But I'm not really asked about the mode. Should let the... Should let the group pick that. Oh, which one's it going to be? Oh, Grim Plexus, okay. Ah, uh, I will invite you soon, Boss Shrew. Uh, just, just so it's easier to see. Uh, just send me a private message in MacQuarrie, and uh, yeah, I can find it a lot easier on the list then. <laughs> and we'll get you in for a couple of drops. Uh, apparently, AT God Elite is bringing his Wolfhound in a glorious paint job. So awesome. I'll have to I'll find have to him. Check that out. Yeah, he's he's not in the same lance as me, but I can see yeah, he's in his Wolfhound 2 R there. Uh, apparently, it's pink with yellow stripes. Awesome. <laughs> oh, was an update for all five people who watched the Mad Max stuff. Uh, I do actually have my save game, so the Mad Max streams can continue. Yay! Uh, have you ever played Mac Assault? Uh, I never got to play Mech Assault. I remember seeing a couple of the videos of it, though. Was that the one that was on Xbox? Yeah. Uh. I did tell him you didn't have an Xbox. Uh, I, I remember seeing bits of it and thinking, originally, like, oh, right, the stuff on the ground looks cool. Uh, the idea of being able to get on the mech and run around, but uh, uh, it didn't do very well, did it? Oh, there it is. It's pink with uh, cerulean blue legs. It is... Oh, it, You know beautiful. what? It I think we've seen it before, actually. It looks like something out of Borderlands. The colour scheme and the and the way it's almost uh, cell shaded look. It's pretty cool, actually. It's very cybertech, kind of cyberpunky. I like it. 
Looks like you could go to a dance party and blend in. Hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I think um, I've seen that uh, paint scheme before. It was probably you. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we we might have seen this before. I, it's it just it stands out so much more against the other Max. I love its little uh, cyan feet. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. He's using the um, the blood. Uh, I, was, I can't remember what the the camo scheme is. Something blood, like blood spatter or blood stain or something. I mean, basically, his plan is just to dazzle the uh, enemy team with his colours, so they uh, they can't aim straight. Yeah. Of the, uh, or they'll effect. just be like, oh, there's no way I, I can damage something so so beautiful. Oh, I'm too busy throwing up, I can't aim. What? Oh, oh, the, the, I get such a strong feeling of the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a... New target acquired. Cheeky double hit there on that uh, Timberwolf, just to piss him off. Uh, we we got ourselves a suicide timber wolf. Punish him for me, yes. Harry. Yeah, there was a timber wolf who just like suicidally just charged into our team. Yeah. And uh, died. Died got very exactly quickly. Exactly what he deserved. Yeah. 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 He got what he deserved, didn't he, boy? Did yeah. Yeah. Punish him for me, Harry. Punish him for me, Harry. New target acquired. The naughty boy, isn't he? Oh shit, that's a, that's a gold. Boy. There's a gold Timberwolf. Oh really? Yeah, there's a five hundred dollar Timberwolf. Hey. Fuck. People criticise me for buying a few ships in Star Citizen. Five hundred dollar Timberwolf. I know it's scary, isn't it? I the prices. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the actual uh, gold colouring looks really cool, but it does, it does, not yeah. worth 500 I, I mean, is the mech in any way improved? Does it no, have no, it's just gold. Special build or no, it's just gold. geometry? No, it's just gold. Uh, that's it, it's, it's just a gold mech. Well, it looks very pretty. It does, I mean, it looks it looks cool, but... yeah. It, obviously, it isn't strictly. It isn't five hundred dollars because if you bought that, you also you bought got the, all the other. You bought the two hundred and forty dollar clan pack and all the other stuff. So, technically, you're buying a gold mech for around two hundred odd dollars or something. You know, thereabouts. Yeah. It's still a lot of cash. Like Muffled Orc is saying, "Kill the gold mech, kill it." But I know at least one of them was a gift from somebody's girlfriend, wasn't it? And I, I thought, well, they're just going to get targeted. Not yeah, it, fair, is it? some people on the forums, I remember them saying that theirs was a gift off, off uh, like girlfriends or family. And uh, I know there's one of the NGNG streamers, they pretty much bought a gold pack for him as well, which was, you know, pretty fucking mental. Yeah. I do this, but I would never expect to get anything off anybody just because I stream a fucking computer game, you know? Although we were looking at some guy's wish list, weren't we? Oh time. yeah, last last night, yeah, there was a, there was a guy's wish list that was horrendous. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, he basically he basically just wanted like about eight or ten grand's worth of um, studio and camera equipment to do his YouTube videos and it was just like fuck no <laughs> that's horrendous yeah he wanted stuff like computer desks and stuff as yeah well, computer didn't desks they? that were like a couple of hundred pounds each he wanted uh, cameras that were close to like five and seven hundred pounds each he wanted rigging stuff that was a few hundred each it was horrendous Right, I guess some people. Oh, there's a low signal around yeah. there. Where is it? Ow! Shit, he's behind me. I think they get they see the kind of money some of the big YouTubers and Twitch people make and they get it in their heads that. Oh! 
Down yeah. you go. They get little dollar signs appearing in their eyes. Yeah, I think that's the... If that's really what you've come on for, then you're not really doing it because you actually like playing the games or... Or you actually like talking to people. other people, to people about yeah. the same stuff. You're just there to hopefully make some money and... That's the wrong attitude. You know, if you become successful and popular and you get those things, that should be counted as the bonus. Oh yeah. All I've heard uh, about people who have that attitude, that they're only really there to make money, is generally people immediately see them being kind of fake. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true. I Honestly, think people, I think I people think that it's great that they get this forced laughter and and stuff that they seem to always portray. Yeah, I know what you mean. I always get this really uncomfortable feeling sometimes, like they can't relax, they can't just stop because it's so uh, intense and so stressful, they have to just keep going. Invite yeah. that to uh, Shrew there, if he's uh, on the chat, let him know that there's an invite for him. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I've, you know, I've seen a few people who've who've become successful, and generally, when people have asked them for advice, uh, some of the big people have actually said, <clears throat> "If you're only out here to make money, it probably won't last." It has to be something you actually enjoy doing because you're gonna have to do it a lot. So if it's fake, I think it kind of comes through. But you know, some of the some of the Especially hours the these people like yeah. some of the hours these people do, they're on for more than half a day, and you can't help but have to force it. You you can't just keep cheery at people for that long. It's just not human. <laughs> no, I understand what you're saying about the, the people who. I, I suspect even the genuine people will sometimes have well, their off days, obviously. Like, I, I don't begrudge the likes of Angry Joe and people like that. When he streams and, and he has a donation thing to take cash for people want to give it to him, I don't mind that because he's worked his ass off to get um, where he is today. You know, he, he's spent a lot of his own money to go to the, like shows like E3 and stuff, and, and he's not really ever gone back on his word about a game he's not been swayed by publishers or anything giving them free shit and so I don't mind that but I don't like it when people will start a channel and it's like hey here's my Patreon like day one yeah like, yeah that's what I mean you that... can tell that they're just there because they think they're going to become rich and famous off it well mm -hmm. rich anyway well that that will be their job and they'll be bragging to all their friends like huh I work from home and I play video games haha oh, and it's just uh, like nah yeah, that's just not going to happen, is it? And for the vast majority of people on YouTube and Twitch, it's not going to happen because only a small number of people are ever going to get that kind of level of attention. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. You can't all do it, even if you're putting in 12 hours a day. I mean, today I'm at like 3,600 3, and I think it's like 35. And honestly, uh, it was a number I never, ever dreamed that this channel would get to. Uh, I've you know, so I'm just really, really happy that I even made it that far. If everything just collapsed one day and most of the subscriber base went down, I could still say that, hey, at one point I had 3,600 people and I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's mean, just, you know. I was surprised you even got over 100, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I, I was asked, there was a question in the comments that someone asked me uh, about. Uh, what, why was it that I started? And to be honest, that there wasn't any real reason it's just i had a graphics card that could record footage um, and it yeah, was like that would be cool yeah, yeah i thought well i play a lot of mech quarry i'll just record some stuff and talk over it and you know if you go back to my earliest earliest videos i am a nervous wreck trying to talk on them and nowadays i even it's odd i even get comments of people saying like wow you sound so bored in this one it's not because this is one of the early videos where i was just sort of like oh shit i hope i don't mess it up Wow, I'm, I'm getting uh, told off in the comments here. Oh uh, no! Because you said you, you were shocked he got over a hundred. <laughs> well, you, you know, I was being subscriber. realistic. I mean, he didn't advertise it or anything. He, he, it's a small free-to-play game that's quite... Uh, it's got quite a small user base, really. Comparatively, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, you didn't bring it out when it 
first launched, there was already other people doing more stuff than you, so... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I am really getting told off in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> other people like proper having a go at you. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's, Kit is a realist, you know, she, she doesn't want to beat, she doesn't beat around the bush, you know, if she doesn't think it's a good idea, it's a good idea, and to be honest, that's, that's good for me to have, because it stops me from deciding to do stupid shit or crazy stuff. And well, decide, yeah, it's oh, let's do this. your hopes up thinking you're going to have millions of viewers after yeah. not doing anything. You know, do you I, think, sorry, go on, Paul. Sorry, do you think we suffer from the fact that, um, because we're... English and English attitudes are somewhat different. Americans like to be very positive about everything. I mean, at least that's the that's the way it often comes um, across in their media. Yeah, I, mean, I, even I guess. Even their news, yeah. their news programs look like they're these slick performances with these massive studios. In comparison, obviously, British news seems quite <laughs> quite boring and cheap <laughs> by comparison. And so, work we can. Be quite negative because the English people can be that way, or the British people, should I say, in fairness. Well, one shouldn't get their hopes up. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's just the way we are. We're sort We're of, quite you know, if it turns out well, great, if, but probably it won't. It turned out nice again. And I think, I <clears> wonder <throat> whether um, that <clears throat> might turn some people off, or they may think you're more negative than you are. I mean, obviously, I suffered a little from thing a few things maybe I shouldn't have been talking about well I shouldn't have been talking about obviously but um, I think it, it got blown out of proportion because they thought we were I was being perhaps more negative than I was because just the way British know. people are we're sort of like yeah that's a bit rubbish isn't it that doesn't mean we hate it we're just, oh, we'll wow. just say something you know not very good and still like it just sorry my frame, rate, yeah. my frame rate my frame rate took mean, a massive dip um, when his ammo exploded Oh, right. I'm called Grumpy Kitty for a reason. I don't like. <laughs> I guess I am quite yeah, negative. Uh, I'm more like the glass is half empty, and it's probably because it's got a crack in it or something. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I mean, you only have to look at sort of British comedy. Usually, it's quite bleak and it can yeah. be actually quite cruel. I mean, uh, Red Target Dwarf acquired. and uh, well, I mean. Blackadder. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That they all have these pretty horrible characters in them. Yeah, that when something bad happens to him, it's kind of like, well, he is a dick. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He does kind of deserve to have this yeah. horrible outcome. So when you watch that and then compare it with things like I don't know, Friends or whatever, where everyone's pretty sort of carefree and happy, and at the end of the episode, everyone's a good guy, really. Don't get that. Uh, often okay, in British I, comedies and British I'm comedies, really the character hate. acts a dick because they're a dick. I really hate it. American shows where there always has to be a moral at the end. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether that's because back in the day, uh, a lot of the they had broadcasters had rules about pushing things like that. Yeah, so. they, there were a lot of stuff like that at the time. So that might just be a holdover from that, in all fairness. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm dead. I mean, I'm not saying they choose that, I'm just saying that I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, really we, forced. We know that there are different, obviously, not all uh, American entertainments like that. I'm just saying, I love I'm the just fact that, generalizing, uh, obviously. The same with British, obviously. Somebody called Krenov on the chat uh, yeah. has said, Mexican TV is a Wizard of Oz chat. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. Okay. I've not had the pleasure, but uh, I, I quite want to see some now. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's... I'm not quite sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, so I don't know whether, obviously, our attitudes mean that because you're not necessarily as positive, uh, people might presume that you're making well, videos about people... Mech Warrior all the time, but don't actually like Mech Warrior when actually the opposite is true. You do like Mech Warrior, you just wish it was better. Well, if those people yeah. don't like me talking about Blood Desert, then they can fuck off. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but people love hearing about Black Desert. I must realise that. <laughs> nah, I just... I, I, I have a very strong sort of love of, of Battletech that I don't, I don't know exactly what it is about it that I like so much, but uh, maybe it's just because it's 
sort of been part of my childhood at a very young age, so it, it's always felt like it was just there and it was cool. Um, and that, it's, so PGI was kind of annoying me with the complete lack of understanding of of the product at times. How uh, they, they make this game that just doesn't really feel like a Battletech game, although it's got a lot of Battletech stuff in it that's cool. Yeah, but it has lots of good stuff in it. A lot of the mechs it does, are yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. You can have some pretty cool fights. Some of the environments they've created are pretty cool, like some of the alien uh, maps are pretty awesome looking. Yeah, the maps it's are not cool, like the environments they do is are cool. Bad. No, it's it's not. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's the, so much potential wasted, I think, by a small studio that probably bit off more than it could chew comfortably. Yeah, maybe. I'd say. Um... Yeah, I mean, in some ways, um, it's a kind of, it's almost an old school style game. In a little bit mm, of a way, some games yeah. have sort of moved a little bit ahead of it, but then, as I said, it's not like it's a terrible game. There are plenty of bad games out there. Plenty. Yeah. And most of the time, you generally will only, you know, you generally play games you like, don't you? There's plenty of people out there who go out of their way to buy games that are bad just so they can talk about how bad they are. And that's fun. I, I mean, I love the fact that, as you said, um, before with mentioning people like Angry Joe. His best reviews are his reviews where he hates where the game was terrible and he hated it. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're the fun ones to watch, but then that's what he does. Generally, you're playing games you actually like, and that's the reason you're playing them. Okay, um, AT God Elite uh, has yeah. got a little smiley face at the end of this, so I think he's trolling. But, <laughs> CR, do you think two PPCs and six medium lasers is enough of armament for a Black Knight? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it seems a seems a little uh, little lacking in yeah, uh, in AC twenty. No, no, no. It's, I mean, <laughs> he just needs. I think he needs more laser. Uh, more pro- laser. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you think he needs? More gun. Yeah, if he could just more more, more gun it. Yeah, I think uh, his Black Knight will be perfect then. It's a, it feels a tad bit undergunned at the moment. So basically, the message to At God Elite is more gun. More gun. More gun. More gun. So it's like about the engineers' TF2 videos. Yeah. You bring gun, and if that don't work, you bring more gun. Yeah. So, uh... Man, yeah. I loved that game back in the day. But I agree, I mean, the fact that... As much wait, as wait, you agree, you agree gave... that uh, Kitter should be shouted at for... Uh, no, <laughs> I was going to say, as much as people are uh, no. having a go at Kitter, uh, when you did reach 100, we were all like, wow! You've got a hundred subscribers. That's really cool. And it yeah. wasn't meant as a piss take. It was it was genuine. We were all like, "Wow, a hundred people like watching your stuff. That's really cool to know there's hundred yeah. people out there." And then to find out there's five hundred and a thousand. And if it never gets past what you are now, what you're at, it's still cool to think there's people out there who actually like yeah, listening to you, your shit. Even if you lost a few thousand, you'd still have loads of people. As far as I be concerned. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, uh, so obviously... you're never going to be one of the big channels that's got like 100,000, 200,000 subscribers, so the fact uh, that 300 or 3,000 people actually like your stuff enough to subscribe, that's cool. I mean, I, I'm not very, uh, I'm not flippant about it. Uh, I'm very grateful for everybody who does take their time out of their day. Uh, I know some people have pretty bu- uh, busy days and they'll watch the videos and they'll take the time to comment and stuff. So I'm I'm very thankful for that. I mean, I'm very thankful that there are people right now in the Twitch chat who are there watching this and they're playing the game with me. That's really awesome. You know, I would never have imagined back then when I started it that this that that would have been a thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, small fry or not, like in the great scheme of things, it doesn't feel that way for you, does it? Because no, no. You know, Three thousand people. I mean, like I, your stuff. I've That's I've contacted cool. games developers, and I'm still doing it actively now, for review copies, and I'm I'm getting them, you know. So yeah, that's a dream, really, for that, you. Yeah, that's really cool because like my main hobby is just playing computer games. So, I, and I know that's going to piss some people off. Some people are like, it's not a hobby, blah blah. Yeah, but um, it, yeah, it's I I've, I'll say it now. I mean, I've got review copy of Battlefleet Gothic, which is fantastic. I got my money back on that game. And there's there's going to be uh, a review copy, uh, sorry, review of that coming up next week, which is going to be cool. 
and I've had review copies for other titles and you know the the copy of Eternal Crusade I was gifted by the developers that was really cool and that was back when the channel had like 2,000 subscribers yeah that's a pretty cool thing at the moment you know, I'm trying to like goes beyond that you f that feels pretty cool doesn't it yeah uh, at the moment I'm trying to kind of uh, knock off a list of, of Games Workshop titles because I got Blood Bowl 2 I got uh, Vermintide I got Battlefleet Gothic uh, Eternal Crusade. Now, if I can just get Total War Warhammer, I'll have, I think I'll have the full, you know, the full dinner set. <laughs> uh, it, I, if you get the full set, I think they send you a set of steak knives. Yeah, I think I get the steak knife, uh, yeah. which would be oh, fucking nice. sweet. I think you get a card from the Queen as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I think over here, yeah, you do. You get your card from the Queen, and my husband and I <laughs> would like to say that we particularly enjoy the mad capery of critical proc. So I've I've just Chuffing. borderline harassment of um, of the guy in, in charge of that stuff at Creative Assembly. It's just like hi. I uh, don't know if uh, don't know if you got my first message, but here's my second one. Yeah, I'd like to request a review copy, please. Uh, here's my channel. Now but... God bless this channel and all who sail in her. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. little old toddler grabby hands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but anyway, we should get back to talking about, I don't know, Mech Warrior? Mech Warrior. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's going to Anybody? Mech Warrior. Anybody? Anybody? Now, Mech the Warrior. Eagle Eyed. So anybody? Really, really anybody? looking forward to that competitive stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, the tournament, yeah. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I am fucked. I'm dying early in this round. Uh, Devlin is saying, hey Kitty, if you could read Rocket off that last comment that oh. you made, uh, I think it might interest him. Um What was the last okay. comment you made? Well, Lobones <laughs> laughed saying it's a hobby lol. Uh, it's more of a way of life for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Don't worry, he's not listening to me, he's chatting. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What are you saying? See? <laughs> he's just choosing not to listen. <laughs> oh what I'll have to read this now. What's this? It's not a hobby, it's a way of life. <laughs> it's a way of life, yeah. No, I remember uh, there was a Eurogamer article, I think, end of last year, and that they were making a case, or somebody was making a case, um, that uh, to call it a hobby is wrong. Now it's it's gone beyond just a hobby thing. I don't know if that's strictly true, to be honest. Oh, now Devlin is trying to make out that he wasn't talking about me at all. Well, that's not cool, Devlin. <laughs> I think yeah. I understand what they meant, by the way. I think they meant that watching TV or um, enjoying football or American football or whatever sport you're into isn't necessarily a hobby. It's a pastime or it's entertainment or whatever. You know, yeah. nobody turns around and says, what's your hobby? And they say, watching TV or listening to the radio. They might mean it in that respect, that it's so widespread. Yeah, maybe, yeah. You know, I think that's what they meant, but, you know, for some people I'd I'd say that playing certain games kind of is a hobby because it's something they specifically make time to do. I think that You I'm... specifically make time to play MechWarrior because you still enjoy MechWarrior. I'm blaming these losses on Shrew, to be honest. Uh, I, like, ever since Shrew joined, we've just been going downhill. Yeah, fuck you, Shrew. Yeah, fuck you, boss Shrew. Fuck you, Shrew killer. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy sat there like, what the hell did I do? I just, oh my god, look at that. That fucking Orion 2C. It just, like, you look at it front on, it's fine, but then it looks like it's got a massive erection just there, because that Gauss rifle sticks out so far. I, it just, no, it doesn't. That, that's all you. It doesn't work. It just looks stupid. Okay, so Devlin said, had to take apart a 20mm bushwhacker last week. Uh, when I finished up, all I can think was, I just fixed an AC2 today. It's a good day. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I've already got all the basics on that one. I need to, need to be working on the B variant. Although I like the paint job you've got on the... Uh, uh, the uh, Orion. It's just the fucking uh, base colours that it comes with, because unless I pay out real money for a pattern, it's just that scheme. It's not very nice, really. Oh, it actually looks uh, alright. I mean, I agree Shrew with you, the says, gun looks stupid. Boss True says, Fuck you, I'm going. I don't need this from you scrubs. 
Oh, that's, that's awesome. not true. He does need that from us. I mean, don't go. And Muffle Dork says Critical Rocket confirmed having a wonky penis. Yeah, it's it, I can never pee straight. I always have to sort of angle myself to it's very awkward in public spaces. Phrase more information than we need comes to mind. <laughs> hey, he asked if I had a wonky penis. Have answer. <laughs> almost spat me brew then. Did you? Did you almost spat your brew? You almost Did spat you? I almost spat, spat me brew. fucking Do brew. You know that? Do you know that? <laughs> I almost spat me brew. Do you know that? I already that? drank mine. <laughs> Just add it to Q Q. <sighs> e by gum. So this might be a good time to advertise the Lancashire Hot Pots, yay! Yay! And um, what? What? the game Slay, yay! Slay Industries! Oh god, I'm bricking it! I'm bricking it, I've got a GM Slay! I've got a right character today! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah that's, I forgot, I actually get to play! Yeah, that's right! I haven't played uh, for Forever. two years! I've got a... I've got like four BPNs written up! But now I, I read, obviously I've been rereading bits of the rulebook. I was like, oh shit, yeah, I've got to have a fucking department, everything for some of these. So now I'm going to have to like sort of cross reference and go, this department? Eh? I'm going to need you to print out some blank BPNs for me. Uh, oh, to... catfight. Yay, catfight. Are they hugging? No, not like yesterday. <laughs> I already brought some down. Oh, yeah, but I, I didn't really want to use up those ones. But are they all blank? Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. I mean, can I use pen on There's them, or should I just use pencil? Stuff like that there as well. <laughs> no, just use them up. They can just be printed there again. Oh, apparently Boss Shrew won, Boss Shrew. Yes. won this Pirate's Bane in Majestic's Light Tournament giveaway thing. Nice! Well done. Holy shit. There's tour members on the other side. Oh, You're dear. joking, is there? Yeah. I purposely stalked you. What's yeah. this uh, at God Elite is saying to me? No need to criticise him, Slayer. Kitta is close by monitoring Critical Rocket and current and correct his behaviour. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then he says women are. Uh, no. I'll uh, pack my things then. That's what he's put. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Yeah, she's there to give him a good clout. So, you've just found out that members of your illustrious uh, clan that you're a member of are yes, literally yes. the opposite and me. side. And me, don't forget, I'm in it now Oh, of well. course, yeah, you're in there as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're in there. I think, okay. yeah, I've just, I've just put in the in the chat tool crashing my stream. So I just put, um, okay, Rocketeers, primary targets, Chai Swan, Sly666, and Caiaphas K. Uh, <laughs> yeah, get, get Chai. Or get either of them. Unfortunately, Shrew's fucking up my, my armor with his machine guns. No, no, Shrew, why? My my armor. I don't think I've uh, modified this at all yet. It begins. Oh no, not the muining. Shut up, PB. That bloody cat. That's not fair, him doing that to your armor, by the way. There we go. Well, you know. New target acquired. That's because they know that basically they couldn't stand toe to toe with Crystal Rocket in a fair fight. <laughs> they had to send in the clown to uh, to give them a, that slight edge. Those laffy, mm, daffy clowns. Oh, so I'm going with the Iron Tiger over there and his Wolverine. Let's try and get him with some LRM fire. 1 0. No, Chai got, Chai got somebody. Damn. Chai's on fire. Chai's a very good pilot, though, to be fair. No! We lost Shrew Killer. It's 2 1. Damn it. Damn. New target acquired. New 
new target. They get in there and start kicking some ass. No, no, I think Chai's flanked. A lot of bones is getting hit. Oh, it's Sly. New target acquired. Sly's down in that channel. It's gone quiet now because you mean business. Yeah. He actually wants to win. So I'm concentrating on this. I'm not going to hear the end of it in tomorrow's practice if I don't if I don't get. Oh, At least one frig. Kill. Fuck. Stupid clan tech. Come on, turn around. Oh dear. Oh no. This isn't good. New target See, here's the thing, why can't Tor play this well when we're doing the other drops? Because <laughs> it doesn't mean as much to them. It doesn't, does it? That, that... suddenly they've got someone they all desperately want to kill. And that's you. I yeah. Think, you know, that's a beautiful thing that you bring that out in them. Yeah, that, that I bring the violent killer out in, in people here. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're just going hellbent for leather to kill a member of their own. I think that's... it's a beautiful thing. It says, you know, it says love. Ow. Well, actually, it says hate, Fuck. but you know what I mean. Right, I lost mail around. Oh dear, this isn't good. Well, I, I didn't get killed this... by them. <laughs> that's, that's a small consolation. You just need your team to win the fight now. Uh, we're not winning the fight. It's eight. It's ten three. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, maybe somehow. The uh, it's just. True killers claiming his machine guns were glitched. Ah, uh, is he? And they only accidentally shot you. There was some shenanigans going on there. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Ah, oh, damn. We have to go into that team speak after uh, after the stream and uh, chew them all out for not letting me win. What the fuck? What's going on there, Chai? You let me win on the stream? Actually, how long do we have left of the stream? Uh, I can't think of it. About uh, ten, ten minutes. minutes. So you've got enough for another drop. Ten minutes. But there you go. You yeah, got, Boss uh, True said sorry about his machine guns that were firing from the landing. Uh, it seems like they were glitched. Yeah, that's alright. It's no big deal. It's it's machine guns. It's going to do much damage, is it? Uh, oh, ten tons. Have I got any... Mac light, uh, heavy mechs that are a bit lighter that I could bring, maybe? Uh... I think I do. Because the archer's 70, rifleman's... Oh, it was rifleman's 60. We could bring the rifleman. There we go. Oh, no, now we're 10 tons late. <laughs> Something else changed. Now we're 50 tons late. Oh, for God's sakes, guys. Everybody was so considerate. Fuck it. I'm taking an awesome. It's going to be the last drop, no, it's going to be the awesome. Heavy. No, we're, we're not. We're not too heavy. <laughs> uh, Devlin is saying, hey Rocket, want to teleport to Canada? Me and a bud are going to go shooting. And he'll let you play with his SM Lee Enfield. Ah, oh, you Ooh. bastard. I'd have to go with that as well. I would, I would have a go with all those like World War Two weapons. It would be amazing. Um. Yeah, apparently we're gonna try and wolf pack the last one and just take all lights. Okay. Uh. So all right. So we we have two dire wolves. Oh no, no, we're, we're changing now. So we, we've got an Arctic cheetah. Actually, I, I should just I should just be mean, shouldn't I? I should just go in the Arctic Cheetah. Yeah, we'll take the small pulse Arctic Cheetah then. Yeah. 
Uh, but we have to we have to make minimum tonnage, <laughs> two forty. Et God Elite says awesome is actually the only awesome I don't own. Oh, the eight. Oh, the awesome eight Q. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will get it soon and build it with four PPCs and STD three hundred engine and almost full armor. It will be beastly. Let's face it, in an awesome, you kind of have to have a standard engine, don't you? Because yeah, I mean, the hitbox means that if you were using an XL, right? Pretty okay, much so asking to die. We're gonna we're gonna hit the min tonnage now, because. Um... Okay. Oh, we thought we did. Current tonnage is two ninety. Oh shit! Min tonnage is three hundred and twenty. Right, so I'll, I'll bring a cicada and that should bring us up to the uh, min then. There we go. Cool. So, uh, last last drop of the group stream is we're all going to take fast-ish mechs, except for uh, Terps Mark, who has to bring up our tonnage by going with a direwolf. But the rest of us are Cicada, Panther, Raven 3L, Arctic Cheetah C, Kit Fox Prime, and a Stormcrow. So, here we go. Okay, that should be good. Let's uh, see if we can uh, get ourselves a nice win at the end. And we've had a, had a few good wins actually, so not been uh, not been too bad. Yeah, yeah. And either good. way, it's double XP weekend, so if there's any mechs that people are running that need the XP, even in a loss, it's not terrible XP. Yeah. So Just... suck it, nerds. <laughs> I got like eight thousand before in a win. Hmm. I'm going to go with River, actually, as a vote, because light mechs do better with some of the buildings. But it seems like the majority of votes is for Manifold. Right, so manifold with the last drop. Right, here we go. Oh, uh, TMSD72. Hello, hmm. Rocket and crew. First time I have been able to catch the live stream. Hello. Hello. Unfortunately, it's Pretty much the end of the live stream. Yeah, yeah I've literally like, this got is the like last four drop. minutes left. Uh, do, yeah, this is the last drop. Do apologise, TMSND. Um, obviously, this will, as usual, it'll be archived on the channel probably up tomorrow or Monday, uh, depending on how nice Twitch is for actually exporting it over to YouTube. I'll also have to uh, probably export two parts over because obviously we had the earlier crash out. But um, thanks for thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking the time. Lowbones is asking, do we learn about the surprise Met pack announcement this Tuesday? Uh, I think Russ said in a tweet it was the twentieth. Uh, so what's that? The Wednesday? Uh, four days. Yeah, that's a Wednesday. Right. Yeah, I think that's going to be then. Uh, unfortunately, AT God's uh, got tubes sticking out of his legs. Uh, he's just realised. I've just informed him it's lost tech. Right. Uh, either that, or he's hit puberty. He's got tubes where there weren't tubes before. He's becoming a man. Right now we just we just have to find some poor bastard and um, s hopefully swarm him. Oh, 
Target acquired. Oh shit. Just New target acquired. Three signals and then get hit by another one and then Lord of Bones he's running. It's like he took a severe hit to one of his arms there. New target. Oh there's acquired. a hunchy. There's a hunchy pushing. Let's get Bravo. Nope, New someone else pushing. It's acquired. a catapult. A better target. Catapults, they're easier to kill. There we go. Nice. Terp's mark gets the first blood. Nice. Very cool. We're going to chase down this hunchy. There goes yeah, one of his side on. torsos. Kill him. I will find him! Target destroyed. There we go. There goes, uh, there goes the hunchy. Ow. Friendly fire on the sp into the spine. Yeah, we need to keep this up. We want to uh, we want to win for the final drop, don't we? Uh, we want momentum. Acquired. Yeah. Clueless there, getting behind that Evan Jag, giving it a bit of a, bit of a beating. Thunderbolt nearby though, we need more bodies. No, oh, we have to... Uh, apparently they're, they're, their team is swarming the top. King Crab! King Crab's on his own down there. Torso, Come on other people, he'll be looking at me. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, he made the mistake. Terps Mark gets the second kill. New target acquired. Oh shit, bumping into a friendly stone crow, we don't want to do that. <clears throat> Seems to be going well so far. Well, it's about we even at the moment. Up. It's 3-3 three, three at the moment, no, no, it's 4-3. Yeah, oh. I don't know what that is. Okay. That's a stone crow. Find those targets that have moved out on their own and no, one of our guys just like flat disconnected. Ah. Oh, shrew killer got one. Nice. Nice. New target acquired. Hello, Chumbo Wumbo. You're a bit late. Yeah, I guess the time zone thing hasn't quite gotten uh, through to everybody yet, unfortunately. Yeah, everybody pops on in the last 20 minutes or so, don't they? It's just because it's a better time. Target yeah, destroyed. unfortunately, because of the way our internet is, if we were to try and set it for an extra hour later, as you know, the internet would just start to grind to, to a halt. I mean, this stream hasn't been so great for some people anyway. Yeah, it's been quite yeah. a lot. We have had that crash out as well, so... Never give up. Never surrender. It's me and Shrew. We're the last ones. New target acquired. Screw you, spider. <laughs> Screw you, cauldron born. Ah! Ah, well. We didn't do bad, we got five. We were a light group, and we got five of them. So, I'm... I'm not gonna say that was bad, actually. Yeah. I mean, I... A different map might have benefited you, but as yeah, it was... Yeah, I think a map that would have allowed us more manoeuvrability as the lights would have yeah. helped uh, yeah. quite a lot, so I'll just say thanks to everybody there. Yeah, that was still pretty good, though. Group done good. Uh, so yeah, I'll just uh, let everyone on my group know and uh, everybody uh, in chat. Uh, sorry for anyone who's uh, just turned up late for the stream. That's uh, we're wrapping it up for the for the day. 
Uh, yeah, obviously... you, just, you just got away <clears throat> from NGNG Darren. Ah. Oh. Oh, so Phil Darren? NGNG. I think, maybe. Holy shit, really? So, yeah, sorry, unfortunately, wow. as we've said before, if we stay on later, uh, our internet starts to suffer. We yeah, it be does. a little earlier. Uh, but uh, th this is uh, this is, I guess, a new um, a new hype for the stream. I guess uh, that the uh, NGNG folks would turn up to watch uh, to watch us uh, fail miserably. <laughs> uh, yeah. That wasn't a bad run. Well, no, no, I'm bad. I'm not knocking anyone else. It's usually me who's uh, failing it miserably. But yeah, uh, what's this? Uh... He says he's sorry he missed it and always late to the party with a little oh. monkey face. Ah, uh, well, no problem, uh, Darren. I'll. Uh, Hope uh, you catch us another time. Yeah, maybe you can catch me next week. It'll be probably Matt Warrior again, unless it's a different game. But uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for Usually popping Matt in. Usually Matt Warrior. Uh, thank you to everybody who has been on today. Uh, I'd like to obviously thank uh, Kitty for suffering the chat <laughs> yeah, uh, while she's while she's trying to fish in Black Desert. I'm not fishing. Oh, you're I'm not fish fishing breeze. for a James. I'm farming. She she hates these these robots as she calls them. They're not, ro robot they're not robots. And uh, thanks very much to the bro uh, <laughs> for helping out and uh, keeping the chat going. Yeah, I help uh, out. Yeah, he he likes to feel like he's, he's part of things. A part of it and everything. Right, so uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Um, have a good week, and yeah, see you next time. And uh, yeah, bye. 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 Bye.